it's TX Stampin' Sharon. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new here especially, um, I am live Thursday night, January the 12th. Tomorrow is Friday the 13th, if you didn't realize that. Anyway, um, I'm super glad that you're here. I appreciate you taking some time out of your day to watch this tutorial on how to make a pop-out card. Um, it is a fun fold, and some of you may or may not like fun folds, but if you don't like this one, I've got like three more over here that I think will help inspire you. Some of these can be used for Valentine's Day, some of them not, just to let someone know that you're thinking about them. So I do want to say hello to all of those who have joined me live in the chat um, we were kind of uh, doing a little bit of chatting ahead of time. Um, I just It just warms my heart to see that community of stampers in there uh, hopping on before I go live and just checking in with each other and um, and just having, you know, just it's like it's like, hey, we're going to have a, a coffee and and chat time while Sharon's doing her thing over there on YouTube. So um, anyway. Um, Rochelle says she loves fun folds. So there you go. Let me know in the chat if you are a fun fold lover. Um, uh, thank you, Margaret. She says she loves my shirt. I did get my nails done today. So there'll be a close up of that. Um, let's see. Renee says the ad for your video is for stamping plates for your nails. How funny is that? <laughs> Renee, that is hysterical. That is hysterical. Um, okay. So Sue says that people seem to love getting fun folds. I think when they get them, they're like, how do you open this? It's kind of intriguing. I think so too. So we're going to get right down to it. Um, we're just going to switch our camera and we're going to look at that card that you may have seen in the preview. Um, just a little bit up and close. Um, this is done with the... Um, Sweet Sorbet cardstock. It's a beautiful shade of red. Although on my camera, it's looking a little pink here. Um, it is more maybe pinky red. I don't know. So, um, and it just folds out like this. It's super easy to do. And I did do the coordinating envelope. Okay. So we're, we're going to be showing you how to do this. We're going to do some stamping on the inside and we're just going to have fun. So I'm seeing lots of you say that you love fun folds. So there you go. Um, oh, Becky got her nails done too. I did kind of a, I came home and my husband said they're brown. I go, no, they're kind of pinky brown. I don't know. I don't know what color. They're glitter, right? You guys know me who watch me. You know that I love the glitter. So we are using the Country Bouquet stamp set. Gail says that she is intimidated by fun folds. Then find out they aren't as hard as she thought. There you go, Gail. Okay, so we will be taking care of any fears tonight because this card is super easy, guys. Okay. Beth Brenner says that she is ordering this collection tomorrow. All right. So the Country Bouquet stamp set, um, I think is really fun because, you know, it's not just Valentine's, okay? I don't want y'all to just think Valentine's. You're like, oh, I don't need a Valentine's stamp set. This card is to tell anyone, or this card, <laughs> this is a stamp set. That was the card. Um, this stamp set is to let people know that you care, that you love them. It doesn't have to be for Valentine's Day. I know y'all say I love you to, to more people than just on Valentine's Day. Um, and so it also has this heart, um, heart, floral heart, I guess I should say, and then the hearts over here. So we're going to do some deep dive into um, this stamp set and this adorable punch. Okay, now Renee Paris is on here and she gave me a hint that um, Robin Ambrek and I, Rob, um, hmm, Renee, I'm assuming you saw her on YouTube. Okay, she talked about Ah, y'all say my nails look copper. I like that idea. They look pink in person, but we're going to go with copper because y'all know I love copper. So Renee said that Robin uh, mentioned that if you turn this around, look how cute that is as an angel. <gasps> what? Is that not the cutest thing ever? Okay. So as I was talking about those who have joined me in the chat, 
I failed to mention once again, my friend Michelle, that those who are in the chat know and love um, Michelle Batson is my helper during the live. If you have any questions, please reach out to her. You can type the at sign and start typing Michelle Batson's name and she will be able to answer your question or guide you in that uh, direction. Okay, so the stamp set Country Bouquet is from the mini catalog, all right? So it is, the suite is actually on page eight and nine, okay? And you know what? I almost picked up some candy bars today and I was like, I'll eat them. So I didn't buy them. I should have bought one. I could have bought one so that I could have showed you how easy these candy bar wrappers are. And you just take that ribbon and run it around the candy bar, tie it off, and then you just pull the candy bar out of the wrapper. Super cute, super easy. But I did not, I let you down. I didn't do that. So we're going to be playing with the gingham paper. And the gingham is a six by six. So we have our strawberry sorbet. Uh, yeah, I said it right. <laughs> strawberry sorbet? Sweet sorbet. Ah, see, I did say it wrong. We have our mint macaron, um, our balmy blue. We have some mint macaron again. We have petal pink, super pretty, super fun, soft colors. And so the pattern that we're going to use, I really wanted to use this one tonight, but I think we're going to stick with, with the one that we started with. Um, oh, I think I already have it out. We're going to go with this pattern. So it's a little bit different of a check than that one. The punch can be whatever you want. There you go. That's what, that's what Mary Yates said. She's right. The punch can be whatever you want. Um, I am going to introduce you to, if you have not already met, the Country Floral Lane Designer Series paper because some of my cards use that paper. And so for those of you who may have missed my uh, unboxing the other day, um, I did go through this paper. But if you missed that, then I want to make sure that you uh, know what paper I'm talking about. So here's one side. Now keep this pattern in mind because I used my snips and I cut out one of those hearts. Okay. Um, okay, I'm just kind of glancing up. Here is a petal, um, petal pink with some hearts. Here's this pattern. This doesn't scream Valentine's at all, except maybe the hearts, a little bit of love there. Um, this I think is super cute. The little bicycles. I think that is super cute. So, and then we have our balmy blue, very generic the back side and then we have this and then we have more balmy blue the back side whoops this is a fun one mm -hmm. can you just see those angels let's just turn it around look at that angel with her little head and her little body we might change the wing color but i'm seeing i'm seeing that i'm seeing that angel mm -hmm. so there's a strap for you and then we have our hearts and then we have our blue hearts. Okay, so super fun paper. And I think that's it. Uh, yeah, so this suite is like $78. If you opted to get this suite, don't forget that Celebration started last week. What's today? Yeah, last week. Um, anything that you purchase from this mini or from the big annual catalog that is $50 increments, you could pick a free gift from the Celebration. If you currently do not have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I'd be more than happy to send you these catalogs. You can find my information um, below the video, um, how, to, how to shop, how to see my blog. On my blog post, I'll have things for you. Okay, so here is, uh, who said now they need that paper? Uh-huh, Rochelle says now I need that DSP. Oh, the other thing I'm using tonight is the Stylish Shapes dies. Let's don't forget those. You know, these are very generic shapes, and I find this is kind of my go-to. This and stitched up, stitch rectangle, rectangle stitch dies, the ones that are rectangles. You know what I mean. Um, so I, I tend to use these a lot, and um, so I just wanted to point that out. So let's put our card together. Let's do, let me get my pieces here. Um, I do have, wait, wait for it, wait for it. 
at 8 p.m. Central. This will go um, live on my blog. And you can find that link below the video or you can just um, hop over to the blog at www.txstampin.com. It's not there yet. My live, my uh, blog goes live at 8 p.m. Central, but it will have the supplies that I used. I can't show you the next page because I haven't showed you the cards yet and the dimensions on this card. OK. All right. Let's move that out of the way. So this piece of paper is six inches by five and a quarter. OK. So on the six inch mark on the long side, we're going to score. You all ready for this? This is hard. OK. Two. And four. That's it. <laughs> that was pretty tough, wasn't it? Now, this is going to be a Z fold. OK, so we're just going to fold it back and forth like this. And there we go. That's it to our fun fold. OK, we're going to move this out of the way. <clears throat> now, I am going to fold that back out because I want to do my stamping first. So um, I'm going to fold that back out and we're going to get our stamps. I like to use the paper piercing mat because these are photopolymer stamps, which means you can see through them, um, but they don't have any cushion on them. If you're new to Stampin' Up! stamps, um, there's no cushion in there. So using the paper pierce mat gives you that cushion. Okay, right is watching me on the big screen. Holy moly. Smile. <laughs> oh my gosh, when y'all tell me that, it cracks me up. Oh wait, I'm missing a piece of paper. Hold on, it's here. I saw it. Okay, we got all of our pieces now. So we're going to do our stamping. First, I'm going to stamp right here because once we put this inside, this is a little bit awkward to do our stamping. All right, so we want to uh, open this up. And we are saying, let's get our card back. Just wanted to say, I love you. Great. And I pulled out happy Valentine's Day because Valentine's Day won't fit here. Y'all see that? So here's my fold. Valentine's Day doesn't fit there. So you can't use Valentine's Day here. You could use it. Nope. Can't even use it on the outside. So <laughs> I, um, apparently um, snoozed when I pulled out my stamp. So let me get the right one. Just want to say, I love you. Nope, with love for you. I love you right here. Yep. Okay. And we need a little bit smaller of a block. That's way too big. Oh, thanks, Kate. She says I look fabulous on TV. I feel like a movie star. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay. Y'all make me laugh. Y'all make me laugh. Oh, Mary's got me on the big screen, too. Hmm. Sure hope there's nothing in my teeth. Okay. All right. Oops. Nope, nope, nope. I'm determined to use the wrong stamp. Okay. So we're just going to stamp I love you right here. Okay. Easy peasy. And then um, I have already used the die cutting machine, uh, my stamp and cut and emboss and my one of my stitched rectangles to uh, cut out the basic white. I need to get over some. What is happening? I'm over there. Let's see. Hold on. I am. I'm wonky. Let's see if I can fix that. There we go. Now we're lining up a little bit better. Well, now that I messed it up. OK. Um, so. This part right here, we're actually going to add later because we're going to stamp and punch that out. So it's all good. Uh, Enika says, wait, wait, you're not a movie star. I've been watching you all this time. You're the wrong person. You're too cute. <laughs> OK, so um, I do see a little smudge of ink. Shocker. I don't know where that came from. Um, but we're going to say just wanted to say. And we're going to put that right here at the bottom and when we add our hearts we'll make sure we cover up that smudge however you know you guys if you have smudges if you if you do not know this trick let me show you 
I'm the queen of tips. Um, by the way, those of you who are on my newsletter, how'd you like the Tuesday tips that I started this week? I think it's pretty fun. I've got lots of emails back from people. I'm using a mono eraser. This is a sand eraser or pink, uh, pink pen and ink eraser. Uh, M. Wyman is asking me, why not split the happy Valentine's Day saying? I could. I could. Um, I did use the happy Valentine's on another card, um, but you could. You know, these are your stamps. You can cut them up. The only one I recommend not cutting in this set, which is on my sheet, is this one right here. Don't cut these apart. Otherwise, they won't match up to the punch. Okay, don't do that. Don't cut those. Um, let's see. Margaret says she loved the tips. I already did those tips, but it's always good to review. And I'll be sharing more. So each Tuesday, I'm going to share a tip of the week. The next Tuesday is on the Stamparatus, for those of you who may have the Stamparatus, or those of you who go, mm, I don't know about that Stamparatus thing. I'm not too sure about it. Maybe I can convince you with the tips. Okay, so we're going to get, we're going to do some die cut. Mm, hold on. We're going to fix one thing first. So I have my designer series paper. Okay, so the tips of the week. How do you get those before I get off on a tangent? Below the video, you sign up for my newsletter. Join my newsletter. You'll get the tip of the week. Um, okay, so I have my uh, cardstock ready. And I have my uh, gingham designer series paper. And we're going to add this to the card front. Okay, but uh, thank you, Margaret Berry. She says my tips were good. What I want you to keep in mind, we're going to pull this in for a visual. I don't want you to put adhesive here. Okay. I want you to put adhesive around and maybe another piece right here. Because we are going to be cutting this out with the die cutting machine. Mary Yates loved the, the Tuesday tips. All right. So here we go. Right. We're going to put a little bit at the top. And get that started over there. We're going to go down the side on the bottom, and then we're just going to go right here. We're just going to add a little bit of adhesive right here. Okay. That way, when I go to cut this area out, it won't have adhesive on it, it won't gum up my um, die, and I will be able to get the designer series paper off of the um, sweet sorbet piece that I need underneath. Okay. Gwen Ball says the tips were very helpful. I didn't know them before. Sharon told me. Yay. Yeah, I shared three tips. I kicked it off with three tips. I don't, I won't always promise that there'll be three tips a week, but I kicked it off with three tips because um, I want y'all to like get a lot of information from me. Okay. All right. Whoops. We're off just a titch. Um, we look pretty good over here. So who knows why? Um, there is this fabulous thing that they have invented called snips. And that will just take care of that little overage like that. That's pretty funny because I measured that and looked and looked. Um, Margaret Berry says that the Stamparatus is the best invention ever. Always perfect stamping. You are so right, my friend. And I do hope in the tips that I have compiled, Margaret, that it will help you in some way, even though you already love your Stamparatus. There we go. All right, we cleaned all that up. Okay, now let's get our stamp and cut and emboss out. Okay. Uh, Susan Hammond said, I love the Tuesday tips. How about doing a video short? I, uh, Susan. Have you been in the studio today? Were you listening to me talk to um, someone on the phone about doing YouTube shorts? Girl, you, you're you good. You are good. I think I need to turn this around. I'm right-handed. Okay. Beth Brenner uses her snips frequently. They're the best things. They're the best things. Okay. So I want to take... Now, remember, let me pull this up so you can see it. This is the top of my card, 
And I know that I have a lines width of adhesive up there. So I don't want to go too far away. Michelle Townsley says she just put her Stamparatus away. How funny is that? Well, you're going to be getting it out next week when you see my tips. I hope. And I will, I will agree that the one tip especially would be very helpful to have a YouTube short. All right. So we, I've taken the largest of the square from the stylus shapes and I'm going to place it right here. Okay. Now I, I'm, hmm. I like to use washi tape. I'm a washi tape fan just to make sure, you know, one day maybe we will have our magnetic plate again, but right now we don't. And I'm not on live on YouTube. I don't want to make a mistake. <laughs> if you're just now joining me, I am showing how to make a pop out card um, here on my YouTube channel. My name is TX Stamp and Sharon. I've been doing what I love for 25 years, teaching everyone uh, things that I learn and I hope that it is helpful and uh, inspirational for you. So I am going to come back again because I'm cutting through two layers of paper. I'm cutting through the designer series paper whoop, and the cardstock. So I'm going to check it and I'm going to see how we're doing. Whoops, got a little static there. And having that taped allows me to check. And I'm a little bit, I did not cut here. Okay, I don't know if you could see that. Um, Roxanne uses washi tape to hold dies in place all the time. Yep, I do too. All right, so I have a bit of scrap paper here, and I'm going to use this as a shim because I really want to make sure that this cuts this time. Um, what is the inches of the square if you don't have the dies? Um, I will be more happy, uh, Starla, to answer that question. You could use your paper trimmer. Good point. Oh, this is tough with that shim in there. Um, thank you, Kate. I'm glad you love my blouse. Oh, looks like it could be designer series paper sometimes. I look at it and I go, yeah, oh gosh, this is hard. Please let that have worked. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna grab my ruler so I don't forget, Starla. Okay. All right, now let's check it again. And that did pretty good. So I don't know if y'all can see but now I have cut all the way around. So if that happens to you, just grab a piece of scrap paper and use it as a shim to get your die to cut. Who's ready for the Creative 8 retreat? We kicked that puppy off tomorrow night. Oh, I'm so excited. I know so many of you were chatting about that in the uh, chat box. If you don't know what we're talking about, um, and I'm being very careful to remove this so it does not tear my designer series paper. If you don't know what we're talking about, um, there are four of us, um, myself, Jackie Bullheis, um, Connie Stewart, and Brandy Cox, who all do an online retreat right here on YouTube. Um, we do it quarterly. Boy, that is really stuck. Mm-hmm. Just being very careful here. There we go. Uh, we do it quarterly. It starts, the winter one is tomorrow night. And we have got 36 plus projects to share with you. There will be mystery stamping um, on Saturday. We kick it off tomorrow night at 6 p.m. Eastern time. If you want to read about it, learn more about it, register, look below the video. There is a um, link for online retreats and you can go check it out. We would love to have you. Um, once you pay, you get automatic um, access to the tutorials that were, were that were loaded today. So, um, okay, so now we are getting this apart. And I, I just want you to see the stitching really does stitch. It's so funny. Oh, we're tearing our paper. That's too funny. Why is that doing that? Look, it's tearing. Hmm. Okay. That did not happen on the other two I made. It's like it's, and it's not where the washi tape was. There's adhesive. That's too funny. Okay. So we're going to have to probably use the other side. Yeah. It's like there's adhesive. Okay. Hold on a second. See, y'all see that? It's sticky. So ready for the retreat, says Susan. 
Um, Cheryl says she just printed off the PDFs. Um, so you, you know, you can do the retreat your own way. If you're not around this weekend and you want those tutorials, um, you can still register. You can watch the replays when you can, uh, when you get back. Okay. We're going to put this aside. Um, so yeah, there's just different ways to do the retreat. So if you have any questions, you could comp, uh, comment below the video. If you're watching the replay or head over, like I said, to my, um, blog link that is below the video. So many people are ready for the retreat. All right. So we have this piece that we stamped and already cut out. So we're going to add that here. There we go. I'm going to pop that on here. Ah, Michelle Townsley downloaded her tutorials and started cutting her paper. The way we do the retreat, you do not have to have all the supply. Oops, I know I was supposed to measure this. You do not have to have all the supplies that we're using. We try to encourage you to use what you have at home. And um, <laughs> who said, don't forget the square. All right. Um, the square is two and three quarters by two and three quarters. There you go. So two and three quarters by two and three quarters would be this piece. And then I would do two and a half if you want it to look like this. Um, I'd probably go two and a half. This is like two and a quarter. It's a little bit bigger. <laughs> Kate Wright says, I need to put notes all around my craft room, reminding me of things I could use. I think I just uh, got started and didn't want to and don't want to stop. <laughs> That's too funny. Y'all are funny. All right. So we are going to add this now to the inside of the card. Wrong card. Now, how did I get something on there? Good grief. It's amazing how that black ink shows up everywhere on white cardstock. Okay. So what we're aiming for, let me just show you this way. We need our border about the same all the way around. Okay. All right. You're so welcome, Starla. Okay, so I'm going to add some adhesive to this panel. And I'm going to put it right here. Okay. And then we've got this as a fan fold, right? We're going to close our card. And we're only going to put adhesive right here. Lisa is ready for the retreat. Uh, Kate Wright says, I've already cut paper, but half the tutorials need to finish the rest tomorrow. That's too funny. Like some of you guys like to stamp along with us, or you like to watch and then stamp later. Um, we do have an optional Facebook group. If you want to share what you have created based off of our presentations. And there we have it. Look at that easy pop out card. Well, let's finish decorating it. Okay, so you could take the punch. Where did I do with that punch? We could take the punch. Since I happen to have a flower right here. And punch it out. Okay, like that. However, I need two hearts. So I am going to do some stamping. Remember, I told you, you don't want to cut apart that. Hello, Clara. We're glad you're here. Yeah, if you're just now joining us, we are making a pop-out card um, using the Country Bouquet stamp set. So let me just show you what I have here. I took that punch and I punched a template. Okay. Fran Vano says, cute card and easy. Yes, it is. Um, Trish Lappin likes this card. I just have a scrap piece of paper because I'm going to be stamping two of these. I'm just going to line this up and that looks really good. I, I've got plenty of room to do my stamping. I'm going to use a magnet to hold my paper down. Now, remember I told you, you don't want to cut this apart. When you pull this off of the sheet in the um, stamp set, be very careful. This is very narrow. Okay. Um, oh, Delina had computer issues, just able to get on. Hello there. So just be really careful. Like, let me just show you what I'm talking about. So 
So we have this here, okay? And we go to pull it up. Well, it's not as sticky because I haven't messed with it. I like to pull the little one and baby it up. Does that make sense? Um, Starla says, hubby is getting this card for his Valentine. <laughs> Um, because I don't want to break that because like I said, then it won't match up to the punch. I suppose if it breaks, it's not over. It's not the end of the world. We could take the pieces and put them in our little stencil. Okay. Margaret says that could be another one of my tips. Ah, Jody Thorpe says she loves this. She just got her set today. Okay. So I have put that in, whoops, I knew if I touched it, I'd mess up. I just want to double check, am I in my little punched out area? I think so. Hard to see. Hard to tell. We're going to find out. And we're just going to close our um, Stamparatus and pick that up. Kathy is asking, what is the cost of the retreat? The cost of the retreat is $45. You get um, live videos. You get tutorials. Uh, with 36 different ideas, you get mystery stamping, um, you have access to the information forever. Um, so yeah, it's a good deal. And ask any of these uh, ladies on here who have been to the retreat, um, because they all love it. Uh, we, this is our 12th one, and everybody loves it. Grandma Walker, Grandma Jane says, I'm all set for the retreat, have made cards using bonus and pre-retreat tutorials and printed other tutorials. So that is another thing I failed to mention, Grandma Jane, that um, there are four pre-retreat challenges on there as well on the website. So when you uh, register, you get to see those. OK, you get those as well. So I'm using Sweet Sorbet. Everybody's saying so much fun. How do I sign up for the retreat? Go below the video and there is a link that says Creativate Retreat. We start tomorrow night at 6 p.m. 6 p.m. Eastern. Um, we'll do two presentations on Friday night and then we go most of the day on Saturday. Now, this is a distinctive stamp set. Let me just show you. See how it's kind of mm, shaded. Maybe that's the word, shaded. See how it's just kind of distressed looking? Um, ah, and thank you, Michelle. Um, Margaret Burkett. Michelle uh, Batson put the retreat link right here in the chat box for you. Um, Brenda says, can I pay for the retreat after the weekend? Um, after the weekend, uh, we will not have it for sale. You will have to wait a week and then I will have the retreat tutorials only on the um, on my tutorial store. So I want to, we're going to go ahead and finish this stamp. I want to push my ink down into the ink pad because this is a distinctive stamp set. And if I have too much ink at the top of this uh, ink pad, it's going to not give me a good image. Okay, I'll push that over there. All right, let's bring this back down. Let's do some inking. Polly Libby says that the Creative 8 retreats are awesome. Okay, so it is still a little bit distinctive. Um, I think what I'm going to do, if I don't mess it up, push that over a little bit. I could feel my magnet not letting me press all the way down. Okay. All right, so we've got one, and we need another set. Okay, uh, I think I'm just going to flip it over. Let's make it easy. No, no reason to stress myself out here on YouTube Live. All right. Push that over there, ink it up again. So basically it doesn't stamp solid per perfect. That's what I was trying to say. It's, um, whoops, and look at me. Because I moved, mm -hmm. well, here's what we're going to do. <laughs> we're just going to take that off. Because I moved it and didn't line up my stamp, I'm so silly. I'm so silly. There we go. Just do that. Just do that. It works. Um um, Carolyn says it's of using my magnet. I use washi tape. Oh, instead of using your magnet. Um, those of you who have pacemakers, you don't need to be playing with this. Okay. You need to use washi tape. Good point. Glad you mentioned that. Okay. Let's close this up. 
and get our punch. That template works really good, especially if I had stamped the leaves. Okay. All right. So let's line this up and give it a punch. And turn this around. There we go. Renee had a good idea. What was her idea? See, I have FOMO. I can't help. I have to watch and look at the comments. <laughs> okay, let's get our pieces. We've got our hearts and our hearts. And we'll move these out of the way. Now, I preferred to put these on with, um, oh, I know what I forgot to do. See how that's kind of boingy? That's too boingy. We need to use our bone folder to give that a good crease. Get that to calm down just a little bit. Oh, um, Renee said I would just cheat and punch the paper out until I ran out. <laughs> now that is a that is a good point. I could have punched the paper, put it in those little in the template. I could have punched out a bunch of paper, put it in the template, stamped, stamped, stamped. Is that what you're trying to say? I could have done that. You know, there's no right or wrong way to do a darn thing in this world. Okay. Um, in the stamping world, I will say. All right. I am going to, uh, okay. So the big one, I'm going to stick down with a little bit of, um, Linda Goble says that she bought a roll of 3M post-it tape. It isn't as strong as washi tape, but it will hold. Linda, is that what you're saying? All right. So we're going to put this one here. And I still have a little bit of a smudge right there from my black. Um, Carolyn Bass says she loves my card. I'm so glad. And now on this one, we're going to put a dimensional. And that is barely going to fit. Let's see. Oh, it does. We're going to pop that up right here. We're going to cover up that boo-boo. We're going to open this up. Now on the inside, we're going to have to use liquid glue. We cannot put dimensionals inside it might be a little bumpy just saying um, oh <laughs> Renee said she meant the paper that comes with it <laughs> okay I got way too much glue mm -hmm. so we're gonna do this real professional thing and we're gonna wipe some off <laughs> I don't want to glue my card shut y'all okay Huh. All right, we're going to wipe off some of that excess glue. And then I think we're good. I think I got a lot of it off so I can continue working. Um, Debbie Parker says she loves this card. Let's pull this through. And there we go. Just wanted to say I love you. And I love y'all. Y'all are my stamping friends out there on YouTube land. Okay, what else can we do? All right, let's talk about another Valentine. Let's talk about a Valentine card. That doesn't say Valentine's. That could be anything, okay? But how about this one? How about Valentine's Day? And then, oh, we forgot to do our envelope with its coordinating envelope. Let's do our envelope real quick. I just happen to have the pieces right here. We're going to get some adhesive. This takes about a two, uh, I don't know, two and a half inch strip, I think. I'm just going to line this up right against there. Oh, yeah, I liked my second card. The second card I have as a free tutorial that will be in my down in my news in my newsletter. It was a newsletter. Um, tomorrow, I'm kind of doing things a little bit different. Um, I'm switching up how I send newsletters. So that I send you the information in a timely manner, but I don't overwhelm you with all the things. Because um, I think it's just, there's sometimes there's a lot. So I'm just using my snips to cut this off. Super easy to give some love to our envelopes. Okay, there we go. All done. So there we go. We got that one. Let's see how we're looking. And then we have this one. 
So these two will have complete instructions in the newsletter tomorrow, just to give you some Valentine inspiration. On my blog at eight o'clock tonight, I will have just the measurements, but if you want the actual down uh, instructions, those will be in my newsletter. So um, that's, that's how I'm gonna start doing things. Um, just as a thank you for being on my newsletter. Okay, so how about if we step away from the pink and we go with the blue. Mm -hmm. Now this one, <coughs> I went a little crazy. And I don't know if y'all can see. I put dimensionals between every layer. Uh huh. It is thicker. And I will have to pay more for postage. But I wanted to see what it would look like. So something fun. And then we have some hearts. Oh, that lighting. Uh, some hearts that we stamped on the flap. Okay. Um. Okay, you love the pop-up card. Okay, so we have the blue. And then we just had to use that cute little bicycle paper. How cute is that? And then to put it on the flap. Whoops. What's up? Uh-oh. I don't have a clue what that is. Oh, it's a piece of designer series paper. Interesting. You never know what's going to happen, right, in a studio. Okay, so we had to use the bicycle paper. I think it's so cute. Um, all I did was just cut a piece of that. That is about, let's see, where's our ruler? Um, three inches, looks like about four and three quarters. Um, and then the, my mat, my mint macaron is um, five inches by three and a quarter. And then I added that heart paper um, Juliana says, I just registered for the retreat. Sorry, Sharon. I left you for a moment. Well, I'm glad you came back and I'm thrilled that you're going to join us at the retreat. So I think that these four cards are just stinking cute. And I hope you do too. You know, it's, am I bragging when I say that my cards are stinking cute? I think they are though, right? Don't y'all think so? Um, let's see. Debbie Hamilton loves the cards. Um, Michelle says, Michelle Townsley, I don't mind paying more for postage if it brightens someone's day. Postage is going up soon. Buy more stamps. Buy those forever stamps. Yes, ma'am. Um, Carolina Bay says she has the sweet now. Cheryl Thompson says that she likes all four of the cards. Thank you so much, my friend. I think that, you know, getting ready for a little bit of Valentine and love in the air in middle of January, then you'll be ready uh, when February the 14th comes around, if you want to make Valentine cards, if you don't want to do Valentine cards, these cards say, I love you. I love that we're friends. Um, you know, we're all stamping friends here. So I think it's pretty, uh, I think it's a pretty fun suite that you could use all year long. I hope that I've helped you. I hope I've inspired you and I will see you on Monday for mystery Monday stamping except for those of y'all who are ready for the retreat, I will see you at the retreat and we will do mystery stamping there too. So there you go. Mystery stamping three times in a seven day period. What? That's crazy. Uh, Diane Gangloff says they are stinking cute and my blouse is beautiful. Thank you, Diane. Happy stamping y'all.